keep on a rolling and give you our top five TV shows of 2015. So, Brittany, why don't you go ahead and start us off with your five through two? Five through two? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Brittany, you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. Number five, Ghost uh -huh. in the Shell Arise, uh, which there are versions of it that came out a couple years ago, but they made the TV series version of it with a couple extra things in it this year. So, counts. Okay. So, Ghost in the Shell Arise. Uh, I love Ghost in the Shell series in general. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that they maybe went a few things, missteps from the old stuff, but overall, really good. Um Shows essentially origin stories of um, the characters Major. from Ghost of the Show. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Somewhat cool. origin stories. Okay. Number four. Four. Mr. Robot. Huh. It's I pretty... thought that show was interesting. Never really got into it. Well, I, you know, it's the show. Other than Game of Thrones, it's the only show that I hear coming up as, like, on a weekly basis at the office. Mm -hmm. And it's just like one of the things you, you got to get into it at that point. You got to see what's going on, and it's like crazy stuff going on. You think it's one thing, and then it's not. Oh, well, it's, you know, it's so fun stuff. Hmm. Number three, Dark Number Matter. Three. And Dark Very Matter. Very good show. I just is, actually started watching that. Yeah, that's it's one of the few shows I, I I've actually caught up with. Um, watched all of this year, and I just finished watching it. It's on Netflix, so I just finished watching it on Netflix like last weekend or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. um, great show. Uh, lots of twists and turns and like suspense and cool sci-fi action. So Well, and I really enjoy the characters in that. I've only watched the first three episodes of Dark Matter because I just got into it this week. Our older brother put me onto it. And um, you're right. It's just it's very well done with character-wise. I, I love the unique characters. Okay. And number two, mm -hmm. this is going to be a little jumping off, but I'm going to go with, um, what, what is it? The, the Late Show with Stephen Colbert, whatever with Stephen Colbert. Look, there's Stephen okay. Colbert. Hey, yeah. Who's Stephen now Colbert. in charge. I can't hate on you. Yeah. I can't hate on that. Stephen Colbert. You know, honestly, <laughs> yeah. even his extra just stuff that he did on his, his YouTube channel this year have been just fun and entertaining. So mm -hmm. good, good comedy, good stuff. There you go. All right. Well, so I'll give my five through two. Now, when I wrote down what, how I write down these lists is I write down all the shows I can think of that I really enjoyed, and then I, I number them. So I do have Dark Matter on there, but it didn't make it in my numbers. There's another sci-fi show, The Expanse. Sci-fi is actually coming out with some good shows recently, um, which I think you'd enjoy too. Uh, none of them top five. So, But uh, here's my number five is Archer, just because it's Archer. Archer is hilarious, and it hasn't stopped being funny. <laughs> just I love those characters. I just love the whole show. I loved how they had to change their name from ISIS this year, uh, the spy agency, because of the real ISIS. So that, that was interesting. My number four would be Netflix's Jessica Jones. It was just an amazing Marvel show. I, I'm so glad that they're doing this and that the partnership is working so well between Netflix and Marvel. Uh, I had to put that in there. My number three is Narcos, another Netflix original just because it was spectacular. <laughs> it was just so well done, the way you went from English to Spanish. And I'm a guy who hates subtitles. Like, I'll almost not watch something because of subtitles. And the subtitles, this was so good, it didn't bother me at all. Uh, number two would be Game of Thrones, this most recent season, just because Game of Thrones is amazing. Enough said. Enough said. So that was my five through two. Brendan, what is your number one show of 2015? Grim. I, I was this that. was that the top one last year too for me? Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, you know, it was. That now here's the thing on, on Grimm that you can tell why that I do love it so much. That is the only show, even on this list, that I've watched as it came out. You watch it broadcast. <laughs> yes, yeah. that is the only. <laughs> Only one that I care that, that I don't say like oh, I'll just wait uh, a couple months to see it on, on streaming or something. No, I'm like I I need to watch the next one. I need to watch it now. <laughs> I need to watch it now. <laughs> hey, that works. That totally works. And that's what your top show should be. It should be a show like that. Now my top show is a show that I did binge watch, but that was just because that's the format it comes out on. And that would be Daredevil, mm. another show that just blew me away. They did it so well. The acting so well, well done. The cast is perfect. The way you can kind of see it setting up into 
a bigger, you know, TV universe. It, it just all worked perfectly for me. So Daredevil was my number one of 2015. So I think we have similar lists. I'm glad we varied a little bit. Sometimes we, we overlap a little bit, but we didn't really overlap with this one. No. This shows. So, but let us know what your top five TV shows of 2015 were. Hit us up. Comments down below. Of course, at Worst My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. But let's keep on rolling. And it seems like we are. <laughs>